is general reading, this may or may not present. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Nice oral energy for Taurus. I like this very, very much. We have the devil in reverse. So either you are ready to release a toxic situation or a situation that was not um, that was not healthy for you, or you're releasing your own addictions or obsession or a toxic habit or a toxic pattern, okay? It could also be that you're ready to release someone who's very, very toxic, or I'm also getting that you could be releasing a negative pattern that has been um, repeating itself for a very long time now, okay? It can be very difficult for a person to get out of this energy, but yes, you're, you have your inner strength. I think you're listening to a higher consciousness. And now, because you're vibrating at a very high level now, you're ready to release whatever this is, okay? It could be a person, a thing, a situation, unhealthy pattern, obsession, addictions, whatever, okay? But anything and everything that was draining you out, that was toxic for you, that was not good for you, you're letting it go. I like that. I like that very much. Oh, could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or you could have Capricorn in your books chart. I don't like to talk about a lot of zodiac signs when I'm doing the readings because uh, then people get stuck to those zodiac signs, okay? Although it has nothing to do with the zodiac signs, it's a lot about the energies of the cards here, all right? So, yeah, so don't get very stuck on the cards to the zodiac signs, is what I'm getting. Okay, I don't know why I shuffled them so many times, but yeah, now this feels good. Okay. All right, what happened in the past? The current situation. What's going on in this person's mind? How does this person view Taurus? What is in their deepest emotions? How does this person want to move forward with Taurus? What's going on behind the scenes? What is the advice for Taurus? And what is the likely outcome? All right. So Taurus, what I'm getting here is that uh, in the past, there was someone that you're dealing with. Could be a player, doesn't have to be, but someone who was just not taking action, okay? This is someone either who was lacking confidence or someone who was just being indecisive, okay? It's almost like this person didn't really know if they had real feelings for you or I'm getting someone who didn't know if this was love or lost, okay? But there was someone you're dealing with who was just not ready to take action and they were just playing it very cool. They were not taking you very seriously or this could be you, okay? But Taurus, I'm going to read it as you. Uh, because um, then things get very complicated okay feel free to switch the energies i'm getting now this could be two things either there's someone coming in towards you who's wanting to offer you something stable something solid something committed now that you've released the released this person with the devil in reverse here okay i think you've let go of this negative pattern or this negative or this toxic person right now this person wants to offer you commitment they want to come in and offer you something stable that they didn't in the past previously you could have wanted this for a very long time again i'm feeling you could have entertained this person for a very long time only with that hope that this person will one day change this person will one day give up their negative traits or this person will one day give up their non-committal behavior and they'll come in and commit to you okay well it's coming in if this is not that then this is just you who's very very focused on your work yourself your career you're wanting to focus on your stability growth and career is what i'm getting okay and this person's like you've completely sidelined this person or them getting the first story what what's on this person's mind this person wants clear-cut communication with you okay with the queen of swords this person knows that you they don't they mean business okay this is the good part here um i'm getting once you let them go now they want to come in and they mean business no nonsense no bullshit okay this person wants um this is someone who's very intelligent. At the same time, this person is very, very focused on logic. Okay, so I think whatever this person has to come in and tell you, this is on their mind. Okay, they want to communicate with you and they want clear cut communication. Okay, but yeah, if they don't like what you hear, if, if they don't like what they hear, they're cutting you off. Okay, or if you don't like what they hear, you're cutting them off. But yeah, there's one person here who's focused on their own growth. And now the other person wants to come in and communicate or there's one person here who's just wanting to come in and commit to the other person and they want to make very clear-cut communication about this. How they see you? They see you as someone who's just not ready to feed or nurture this connection anymore. There is a lack of growth and expansion within your connection and that is all because there was once upon a time when you gave and gave and gave and gave 
to this devil energy okay and now you're no more feeding into the temptation you're not no more feeding to the devil anymore is what i'm getting you're not feeding to this person you're not giving into the temptation because i'm getting a lot of times this person could have been in and out of your life okay every single time this person left you were upset every single time this person came in you gave him their 100 percent, and that was a negative cycle that kept repeating itself over and over again okay but now you're saying no more to the bullshit that's how they view you. They view you as someone who's just not giving them attention. It's almost like, I don't care. I don't care about you. I don't care about this connection anymore. I am not giving this connection my energy anymore. And now in their emotions, you've got them thinking. This person's re-evaluating the situation, okay? So now they're thinking because this person has invested into this relationship as much as you have. It's just that this person is someone who could be commitment phobic or they were just like trying to keep you Friends own you is what I'm getting till they could. It's, it's a very common saying what I, which I hear and I see that a lot of my readings, okay, whether it's with a guy or a girl. Why buy the car when the milk is for free? And that could be one of the things that this person was exactly doing till you were giving and feeding into this connection, right? This person was like, why buy the car? The milk is for free. At the moment you gave in, that's when this person wants to start thinking that, you know, like they should seriously start thinking about the situation. But yeah, this person is equally invested as much as you are. But now they are giving this entire situation a lot of thought. Okay. Yeah. So if you, now that you, you're not putting your attention on this person, now they want to think about the situation. You know, it's almost like, should I invest into this situation? But I'm getting more like they're waiting patiently to come forward towards you with something solid. But they're going to give this time. Okay. They don't want to rush in and screw things up is what I'm hearing. How they want to move forward with me is the hermit in reverse. So this person could have been someone who's ghosted you or isolated themselves completely, okay? You could be dealing with someone who's just who just has this habit of just ghosting you or just like leaving you in the dark and this could give you a lot of mixed signals, okay? Which I think you could, a few of you could be experiencing right now. But I think the way they view you, I don't think you even give a shit to this. You're out of that devil energy. You're out of that entire devil zone right now so i don't think you really care but i think this person they're wanting to come back they've had like an inner knowing they have like a realization it's almost like someone who's done a lot of contemplation a lot of thinking about the situation while they were ghosting you and now i think they want to come back what's going on behind the scenes is the knight of wands in reverse okay so yeah you could again be dealing with someone who's in it and out of it in it and out of it in it and out of it but again what i'm getting here is that there's a lack of forward movement here because this person is not ready to take action again there's a lot of thinking going on this person this is why things are still not moving forward so if i'm telling you there's communication coming in and it hasn't that's because this person's all over the place okay this person is very very unreliable but more than anything, I'm getting this person's energies all over the place. They still don't know what they want. Okay. I feel this person could be someone who's very fearful. They could be very scared, indecisive. Your advice is the Ace of Cups in reverse. Your advice is love yourself first. Okay. Your advice is to keep your emotions shut. Do not offer this person your emotions yet. Let them come in correct. Okay. So yeah, don't be vulnerable. Close your heart chakra towards this person because in the likely outcome i see the justice in reverse okay so i'm feeling something's still not going to be in your favor or something's you're still going to feel that uh need for something to be balanced something's still going to be imbalanced is what i'm getting things are still not going to be fair all right let's clarify why is the devil in reverse is the overall energy Yeah, see, it's almost like you made a decision. I think you made a decision to let this person go, okay? And uh, because this person was just not being decisive, they were not taking action. And with the magician, I think, and the reverse and the eight of cups, I feel that, you know what? You walked away. You walked away. You left this toxic connection and you walked away because with the magician in reverse, you were sick and tired. You felt powerless about the situation. You felt like you tried to manifest this person over and over and over again, but you realized that it was something that was just not right for you. It was just not, uh, it was very toxic. So you walked away from this connection and you made a decision about, you made a very, uh, it, it, it was a lot of, a very willful, detached decision is what I'm getting that you made. And that's what you did. You detached yourself from this devil energy. That's just so badass. And you walked away. So someone walked away. Or someone read this as you. 
it could be the other person. All right, let's see. Why is the King of Pentacles here in the current situation? So this person now wants to come in because now that they're, I, I think, you know what, with the Six of Wands in reverse here, I feel that, you know what, this is someone who's either coming towards you, they're still lacking, they have a lot of self-doubt. This person is not getting the attention from you and now they're coming back to get that attention from you. But you, on the other hand, I think with the Nine of Swords in reverse here, I think you're not stressing so much about the situation as much as you did. It's almost like the situation is just not on your priority list anymore. And you're not giving them that attention, you know. And now it's like getting into their ego, you know. You're dealing with someone who's being very egoistic right now. It could also be that you're focused on your work and now that's really hurting their ego, okay. And now they have overinflated egos and a lot of arrogance right now. And that's why things aren't moving forward. Very mature. But yeah. But for you, it's like, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. Because with the three of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I feel you could have tried and tried and tried and tried to make things happen with this person. But I feel this person was just not ready to cooperate, not ready to compromise, okay? They were just not ready to be with you on the same page. It was a very one-sided situation. And that's when you realize that you need to set healthy boundaries. That's when you realize that this is where you draw the line. And the entire situation could have become very toxic. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? They want to come in and communicate to you because they're very, very emotionally dependent on you, Taurus. This person is very, very emotionally dependent, emotionally codependent, okay? You make them happy. You're not talking to them and this is draining them out completely, okay? So you're dealing with someone who you make very, very happy. But the point is, does, do they make you happy? That's something you need to think about. So, yeah. They're coming in the, with that energy. But with the hangman here, I think things are still on hold. They're thinking a lot about the situation. But they're not doing anything about it. That's what pisses me off, okay? They're holding back. They're holding back, okay? They're completely in a state of shutdown, okay? They're not ready to open up. They're being very, very stubborn. Stubborn, stubborn, okay? Yes, they're trying to see things from a different perspective, okay? They decided to try to see things from a different point of view. But again, they're still holding back, okay? They're not ready to release what they're holding on so tight. And with the chariot here, this person wants to move forward, okay? But they're very, very confused with the seven of cups. Very confused. They don't know which approach is the right approach. Because I think you I think you cut them off. And now it's got them thinking about what they should do. And it's draining them out emotionally, this entire situation. Why is the, the Empress in reverse here? You're taking a break from them. They see you as not talking. They see you as walking away from the situation. They see you as walking away from the situation. And I think with the five of pentacles in reverse here, this person, this could be a very codependent relationship. But this person has huge abandonment issues. Okay. They see you walking away, but this person wants to come back because this person is feeling very lonely without you. And I think with Empress in reverse and the four of souls, you're not feeling this connection anymore. And you're on a break from this person. You're just taking a lot of time. You're not think you're thinking, but you're not doing anything about it. That's what I'm hearing. I think you're holding back and you're very determined to walk away with the strength here. Very determined, you know. It's like you've gathered that strength all this while that you didn't have. You now had that courage, strength. You're making that bold move of walking away from this person, which you did for a very long time. This person wasn't expecting this. See? Because something, you're holding a grudge against this person or this person's holding a grudge against you. Something in this situation has left a bad taste in your mouth. All right, why is the seven of pentacles here in their emotions? They're waiting. Why is the seven of pentacles here? They're waiting. They're wanting to get this relationship back from the brink of failure. Okay, they want to revive this entire situation with the ten of swords in reverse. But the problem here is that they want everything, but they're putting things on hold on purpose. They're holding back on purpose. Very mature energy that you're dealing with. We have the page of pentacles in reverse, okay? This is someone who's doing a lot of procrastination, but at the same time, someone who knows they need to put in the effort, right? But they're just not doing anything about it and they're just putting things on hold, okay? Okay. All right. Why is the hermit in reverse? How do they want to move forward with all this? Hmm. With the Hermit in reverse and the High Priestess in reverse, I'm getting someone 
who is trying to keep themselves externally distracted or they're so distracted with the external factors around them that they're very scared to go within, okay, and try and find out what the truth is. This person could be trying to find out a lot of validation or wanting to get a lot of approval from other people that they are doing the right thing because this person is someone who trusts their logic more over their intuition, okay? This is someone who has a very difficult time trusting their psychic guidance. This person just doesn't know them. They don't know themselves is what I'm getting. And that's why they're holding back. Give me one more card. Why is the high priestess in reverse? Why is the high priestess in reverse? See? What did I just say? This person wants a reconciliation with you. They want to stop the drama, okay? They don't want the drama anymore with you. But they're just so stubborn. So stubborn, look. The page of cups in reverse, this person is just not ready to open up. They're, it's almost like I'm seeing now that you're saying no to their drama, right? Now that you're saying no to the uh, uh, mind fuckery that they were doing, to the mind games that they were playing, they wanted to see this more realistically, but it's almost like they're like, I don't think this is going to happen. I don't think this is possible. Taurus walked away. Taurus doesn't want me. Taurus doesn't need me. It's draining me out emotionally. I don't know if Taurus is going to take me back, you know? But it's a lot of what, trying to see things very realistically, okay? They don't want to stay in that uh, positive mode anymore. Or it's almost like, you know what? They don't want to stay in that fairy tale anymore is what I'm getting. Okay? They want to see things more realistically. And for them, the realistic view is that I don't think it's going to happen with Taurus anymore. That's why they're not moving forward. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here? Let's see. Because there's a lack of cooperation. There's a lack of compromise between you guys. Okay? You guys are just not being able to come on the same page. So probably this person feels that every single time you guys come together and you guys are just not being able to come together, you're not being able to work, you're not being able to build together. And that's why there is a false start every single time, you know. I think every single time, you know, it's like there's a delay or it's like initially it starts off very well, but it just doesn't go the way you expected it to, okay. This person is just not ready to be with you or work with you. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse as advice for Taurus? We have the Six of Cups in reverse. Hold back because you are already clinging on to bad memories from the past. Okay, hold back. Knight of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Don't rush into anything. Don't rush into it. Okay, wait, wait and watch. With the Six of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse, learn to love yourself. It's almost like a lesson you need to learn. You didn't love yourself first. You love someone else more, okay? And that, in turn, the entire situation turned into something so um, negative that now you're having bad memories. You have nostalgia about bad memories from the past or bad memories with this person, okay? Now you both hold a grudge against each other, okay? Or maybe you do, maybe they do. But you need to shut yourself off right now, okay? Learn to love yourself. Don't be over generous is what I'm getting across. Probably you could have had a habit of being very generous towards this person. Stop it. Cut, cut it out. All right. Cut it out for now. Don't rush in to talk to this person. That's what I'm getting. Let go of any bad memories that you have with this person. Heal from this connection first before this person has to come back to you or before you attract a new love. Why is the justice in reverse as the likely outcome? Okay, that's weird. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Okay. So with the Ten of Cups here and uh, Judgment in Reverse, right? I am getting that you are probably not wanting to repeat the past mistake. Maybe you made a bad judgment call, okay, with the likely outcome. So I think that you're still going to, you know, it's almost like you know that something makes you very, very happy, right? This person makes you very, very happy. This person emotionally fulfills you. But you on purpose are not wanting to repeat the past mistake again, okay? It's almost like you're not doing yourself justice, okay? But um, I'm also getting that you don't want to accept anything lesser than what you deserve. You know, this person makes you very, very happy, but you're going to hold back and not make the final decision. I think it's more like you don't want to repeat the past mistakes over and over and over again. 
okay and uh, again i'm getting this person does make you very very happy okay maybe there is this person who's coming back to you okay they want their happily ever after with you but i'm getting you're the one who's going to keep things on hold or you're just not wanting to repeat the past mistakes okay for you it's like uh, you don't want the reconciliation as yet because it could also mean that you are trying to find happiness within yourself okay within your family within your work situation this person you're no more reliant on this person for your happiness and that's why the justice is reversed okay because you feel that if i'm not getting what i want then i'm not going to make a move towards it and that's why you're holding back okay yes there are things which have come to a complete halt there is unfinished business between you and the person you're dealing with okay but again the world in reverse it's going to stick it's going to stay that till you don't learn your lessons so if you need to learn your lessons you need to realize uh, what all mistakes you made with this person and once you learn your lessons i guess that's when you're going to start completing the circle with this person until then things are going to be on a halt so that's what i have for you taurus i hope this reading resonates with you like share subscribe and um leave your comments below and i'll see you next time bye bye